Amen. So you got victory over the enemy, Lena, and his head ain't on you. His head is down below you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 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 So put loose on. I got victory this morning. Amen. 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 Come on, y'all. We got victory. Amen. We stole the storm. Amen. We got victory. Amen. Woo. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. for victory this morning. Take yourself. I got victory, y'all. I got victory. I might not look like I got it, but I got it, y'all. I got victory. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Woo.
yourself. If you feel that you're not a victory, amen, give yourself a victory shot in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> And I 
to you what's in her is for you. All right. Amen. 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 So we're going to call the prophet up today. Amen. Go. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Amen. 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 And her name to change for um, help me to Jesus. Good <laughs> night. I, I gotta remember. Robin the Williams, thank God, because I didn't think God. Of <laughs> My biological sister that's with me today. Praise God. Oh, when I started out in ministry over 20 some years ago, me and Minister Georgetta came in ministry about the same time together. So she seen me get ordained and seen all the transformation. Because I was a hot hillbilly mess. I was a hot hillbilly mess. I was a mess. I was the local drug dealer, come to church with all these pages on, had a sweet little innocent face, but I was selling more dope. Listen. My family didn't even know what I was doing because I was bitter because I was hurt because my mother passed away when I was 16 and pregnant. Come on, somebody. Thank you. And, I, and, and you know, when, every time the devil tried to do something, mm -hmm. and I ain't blaming that the devil got me pregnant. Mm -hmm. Amen. I did that. Amen. 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 But the thing of it is, the sin was in the sex and it wasn't in the child. Amen. So what the enemy meant for bad, God turned around for my good. Amen. I lost my mother, and then four months later, I, I gained a son. Amen. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times, what the enemy try to make for our bad, mm -hmm. God will turn that thing around for our good. Amen. That we can walk in victory. Yeah. We ain't got to walk around with our heads down to the ground. Yeah. I ain't got time for that. I told my sister and everybody that I talked to, I said, you know what, I ain't got time for words. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think so. I can't. I never have. I ain't got time for that. Because I'm a woman of taking risks. I was a woman of taking risks in the world, but I'm doing it now for God. Amen. I ain't got time for that. They say I don't have no faith. Yeah. And as we know, I'm giving y'all some, I'm gonna give y'all this little, this little, little bit something, something. But I'm one, I operate out of faith. Because the Bible says, I don't Amen. care about a man's opinion, yeah. apostle, you got to, what the word of God said, the Bible said that faith is the substance of things hoped for Amen. and evidence of things not seen. Amen. Now, when we look at that word hope, Hope is trusting and relying and depending upon. Okay? Amen. It's the same as it's faith. Yes. Isn't that something yes. I got to make them two words there and then the same like in there we serve an awesome God. So I don't deal with I can't. I don't. Just because I don't see it materialized don't mean I can't obtain. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm not telling you what I 
early. And I know I look younger than I really am. Praise <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but this 42 year old woman, Amen. yeah, because he said in his word he would beautify the meek with salvation. That's right. I've been shot before, come on, somebody. All right. Yeah, been shot, held with knives, guns to my head. And I said, God, why did you let me live through that? When you didn't let my cousins live. Uh -huh. He said, because from your mother's womb, I ordained you. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. 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 God don't kill you off like that. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, but I'm just Thank telling you what the word is. Because the thing of it is, when I found out, and I'm just giving y'all a little history so y'all know where I'm coming from. Yes. My mother, when she was pregnant with me, they said I, uh, I had a bowel movement in her womb. Mm -hmm. Now, I was born in 72. They didn't have all the technology mm -hmm. and had all the medical mm -hmm. things that were going on. Usually those babies die. Yeah. So I have come to learn that the enemy had a hit on my life when Tell I was born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if he have a hit on you mm -hmm. when you in the womb, right. just know that you're going to be powerful Tell if you make it in the earth. Come on. Come on. Think about it. Everybody, just think about it. And I'm going to get into my scripture. Think about this. When you was in the world, because, honey, I was off the chain of the world. Mm -hmm. The party didn't jump to the D-Walk. <laughs> Thank you. And those that knew me, nickname was loud. Mm. Now, when you was in the world, things didn't get pumping and jumping until you came in the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You done went through trials and tribulations and all kind of things. You might have been this, you might have been that. But just think, when you switch over mm. to God, mm. Mm. what an effect that you will have in the earth for the kingdom. Mm. Amen. Oh, yeah. Because the Lord told me, he said, Sis, just like you used to stare them up mm -hmm. out there in the world. I mean, I mean, some of the biggest drug dealers that was in the being dealing drugs, I was the ones teaching them how to make it and cook it and, and, and do it. I had the strategy of doing that. So God said, if you have the strategy of doing that, I'm going to take this and let you be an entrepreneur. I was an entrepreneur at eight years old. You can ask my sister. I was Kool-Aid stand, baby stand, uh, washing clothes up, uh, uh, cleaning people's house. I didn't have to ask mama for spending. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. No, Mom, I got my husband. Can I go to the skating rink? Oh, You're not right. worried about me. Amen. Because God will give you creative mm -hmm. power that's yes, inside of right. you yes. that will make things productive. Mm -hmm. Why are you telling us all of this, Pastor D? Well, I'm telling you this because God has put creative power in you Amen. for yes. abundant life to, right. get to go wide. That's right. Amen. This is not your future place. All right, all right now. Amen. Amen. Your apostle's heart is too big. Amen. Amen. And when you got pastors that genuinely, well, she's an apostle, but she's functioning as a pastor. Tell it, tell it. When you walk in the fivefold, you can walk in five, those five different dimensions. Amen. 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 Apostle, prophet, evangelist, Amen. pastor, teacher, which we find in Amen. Ephesians 4 Amen. and 11 through 13, and 1 Corinthians 12, 29 Amen. through 30. Apostles are first in the, in, 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 in the Bible. You know, everybody got to rank it. Even in, in our judicial system, even in the law enforcement, even in the uh, army, there is an order. Yes. So why does church folks trip right. with people saying they got titles? We got to have a title in order to know your order and how to function in the government body. I'm going right. somewhere. Because right. if you don't know who you are, you can't function yeah. where you're supposed to be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I tell everybody, I say, I, I've been a barber for 20 years. But if I never went to barber in school and just kept on doing hair out of the kitchen, cutting my little nephew's hair, looking like uh, uh, well, Will Smith with the moon line, come on, somebody. If I would have never went and learned how to strategically learn the difference from sanitation, sterilization, skin and scalp disorders, come on. If somebody's taking drugs or what color they are, I mean, you learn how the in-depthness of it. You get to the truth. Dermis, which is right. under true skin of yes. learning your craft. Yes. I would never be able to do and go and do this and do that and do that like God and calling me because how can you be a barber mm. and you say I cut hair 
but you never cut nobody's hair. Right. Mm -hmm. How can I be a Christian when I never manifest right. Christian right. attributes? Right. Right. I never right. nobody right. added to the Lord. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Yeah. How can that be? God said, now is the time for the body of Christ to come out of not being balanced. Amen. Everybody say, I cannot be unbalanced again. I cannot, I cannot be unbalanced again. again. Well, according to uh, Proverbs, the 12th chapter, in the first verse, it said, a false balance is abomination Amen. unto the Lord, but a just weight. That means being balanced right. is his delight. Yeah. When he says he delights, that means he loves it. Yeah. He loves it when we seek after him for guidance and direction. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I have more success stories with God mm -hmm. than I ever had with man or myself. Amen. 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 And I'm telling you, I love my mama. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I love that woman. She went on and with the glory when I was 16 years old. Can't nobody ever take her place but God. Now, when it comes to dealing with God, Mama, I love you, but peace, love, and college. I love my kids. Got three wonderful kids. I got a 25 year old son. Hey, y'all seen my daughter's last week? An 18 year old daughter and a 15 year old daughter. God is blessing them tremendously. And they're still working on it. So, if you ever know Tyree, Catherine and Denisha lift their name up in prayer. Amen. 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 They got some issues. PK kids be having issues. Come on, somebody. But I'm just a realist. I ain't like the regular pastor. No, they got some issues going on. Keep them in prayer. You see them out doing something they got no business doing, smacking their head. I know your mama. Because they look just like me. I'm just saying. Today, uh, people of God, I'm not, I don't want to hold you. Because uh, I'm, I'm one, I, I believe in uh, being in, you know, being gracious of God giving the opportunity to, to impart in people's life, but also being respectable of the tongue. Amen. 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 And I believe, I believe God wants the body of Christ to get to that now. If God take over and do some other stuff, then I ain't got no control over that. That's because, you know what, I, 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 I wrote a long time ago, you don't get in the midst of what God's doing. That's right. right. You better keep your little tips right on that seat. And keep praying and in the seat. Until God get through doing what he's right. doing. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you briefly today. If you have your Bibles, we're going to go to 2 Peter. I'm going to throw, I'm a word preacher. I do a lot. I'm, I'm like a pastor. I, I, I might not say, and then da 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 da. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. I believe in giving people the word because when you give people the word, that's what's going to remain. Amen. 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 Not your emotions Amen. and how a person around me. And I can, because I have to preach, I can have you up on the chairs, the pew, the. The drum set and everything, but that is not what God is calling us into for today. Amen. We need to cause people to be equipped in the kingdom. Amen. We're going to go to uh, 2 Peter, the first chapter. And it's crazy because when the woman of God told me last week, she said, I want you to bring the word. I said, oh, shadabababasha. <laughs> I'm saying it funny because God knows I have a what sense of humor and I do a lot of laughing and talking with me and God be laughing. I be driving my bus sometimes and just to giggle and I know them people think I'm more crazy than they are. Oh, y'all act like y'all. Oh, everybody yeah. come over here. Let's go. Okay, C A T A, come on, somebody. That's my sister. She Miss Prospect. She drives on Prospect. She trying to get off of that demon. <laughs> she was like, Lord. She said, I knew it was a reason why I let Prospect go. There's too many crazy people. I said, Girl, there's ministry out there. You'll be all right. Because she got a smile that caused people to be like, You're so pretty. It's just a warm smile. Just smiling is a ministry. Amen. 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 You never know. Just smile. Amen. So she told me, she said, I want you to bring the word. I said, well, God, they got an apostle. What? Now, in my book, y'all pastor is off the hook. Yes, he is. is. Yes. That's why I appreciate it. Y'all may not see me all the time, but y'all 
Joseph had something about Sarah. Why do you something? Tell it. I said, Joseph, what she need? Because you know I know how to do everything, man. Amen. Amen. I, I tell them all the time I can marry you, bury you, baptize you, dig. I, I work the motor. I don't know how to dig the hole to get the, to put you in there, drive your CDL to drive it to the graveyard. Amen. Blow you down in there. Amen. Amen. Do it all. Right? And then do your parking in the strife. Amen. 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 So I'm going to go just saying, I'm like, Jesus. That's, that's hard, you know, because I'm the type of person when I love people, I love them hard. Yeah. Have you ever met people that love people yes. hard? Yeah. Just have yeah. such a, having a godly compassion yeah. for a divine relationship with yeah. people. Yeah. When you don't love people hard, I have to think a little bit, something's going inside, something's going on deep down inside. Yeah. Yeah. When you're so scared off, or I got to see, am I deserving of Come on, man. Let the love of God shine upon you. Amen. 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 That person might be dealing with bitterness, but because Amen. they got hurt in a bad relationship, Amen. but the love that's inside of you Heal will cause them to be healed, yeah. and they can come out of that thing. Amen. Amen. It ain't time to be standing off. All right, Amen. Amen. Lead us. Yeah, Amen. Amen. That's right. Come on. The Lord told me to deal with this house. You know, he said, tell them. He said, I... This is the title or theme or whatever if we use that for, you know, I'm not a traditional per person, but I know proper protocol. Amen. 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 Uh, I got to know him so I can know who I really am. Right. A lot of times we know of Jesus, but we don't know Jesus. Amen. Amen. Point exactly. For Sister Elena. Now I knew of Sister Elena. But to really know Sister Elena? That means I know some deep things. And me and her talk and came in relationship. We haven't did that in years, so things might have changed mm -hmm. over the course of life. Because things change. Yes. You think you don't? Yes. You over 40 and think you can still eat milk products? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm a personal trainer too. I know. Amen. Amen. Think you over 40 and still can drink soda pop like we used to when we was kids? Bad combination. Amen. Face all broke out. Amen. <laughs> But back to when I don't sit with her and don't commune or have relationship with her and talk to her, the person that I knew back then is not the person that is now. Amen. Right? And a lot of times we treat God just like we do our earthly realm relationships. And God is calling a people and he's calling nations. Each person in here represent a nation. Amen. Each person in here represent, uh, there's a nation inside of you, uh, you that you have to draw unto the Lord. He said, if I be lifted up, I will. All men. So if we lift up Jesus and let not light so shine in this world that men that might see. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. I bet you turn the light out. I bet you five dollars one of us if the, if the shades was closed, mm -hmm. somebody gonna trip over a chair, over a foot, or a person, or something. Mm -hmm. But if somebody go and turn the light on, mm -hmm. everybody, oh okay. Oh, excuse me, sis. Mm -hmm. You can see clear. Right. And that's what God is putting us in the earth for people to see what? Clear. More clearly. Amen. Because remember, before we accepted him, we was in his darkness. That's and according right. to first John, the Bible said that darkness could not comprehend. That means he couldn't understand the light. That's right. That's right. How can I'm going to understand something that I've never been a part of? That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. Wonder why everybody always backslide. I'm going to tell you, because I asked God this, this morning. I said, why is there a category for backslide? 
Mm -hmm. I'm just, I ask, you know what, I'm one of them inquisitive person. Mm -hmm. And even when I was a kid, you know, to get on my sisters and brothers and them nerves, I would watch the Spanish channel. <laughs> Back in the day. And I mean, they were really talking Spanish on the Spanish channel. I was one of them, but I was real inquisitive because I was like, what is they saying? And if I listen to it long enough, now I have to listen to the Spanish channel by being in relationship or contact with people that are Hispanic. Oh, the Lord's. Glacia mean Christ. Come on, somebody. They'll start teaching you so now I can kind of listen to the Spanish channel with the Holy Ghost. I can understand what's being said. Amen. See? Amen. I'm telling you, because he would he would teach you all things. Amen. Just ask him. Right. 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 Okay. Y'all think I'm being four fed I know I'm kind of in the way. I'm 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 as for real. I'm as for real. Deal as Holy Spirit. Yes. He will lead you and guide you in all truth and yes. show you all things. And he will make those things that are mysteries become known. Yes. And I ask God, why do people backslide? Mm -hmm. And God told me because they come out of communion with me. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. I got scripture to prove. Amen. I ain't telling you what I think I know and yes. what I heard. They said, all oh, up. No, I'm telling you what I know. Cause why? I was once a bachelor. Amen. In the church, playing drums. Come on. God is a good guy. Yes, he is. Shout all over the place. Backsliding big time, going to the park selling drugs. Okay, it's become a little bit more recent. Going home, uh, 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 talking, knick-knacking on the phone. Cupcake and tell it. Right. Can I be real? Be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. I'm telling the women of God that is in here, y'all are precious. Amen. Brothers, you precious too. Brother, you're precious too. But for the women, the reason why I'm focused out on the women, because, bro, all of us are emotional. Yes, yes, we are. Girl, once y'all tell us we look good, and <laughs> telling us we got it going on, you can look like a bulldog. <laughs> and you get a different structure. <laughs> 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 Our, 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 our nationality tells our men not to cry. 
And that's not good. That's not good. Because that's, that's a form of dysfunctionalism if a man can't cry when an inner part of them is being touched by the hand of God. But you, the Bible says not to quench the spirit, but you sitting up here looking like you about to blow up. All right, all right. Even women, when we yeah. trying to be cute, we just yeah. got their hair done and makeup is all flawless right. and everything. Right. I envy y'all to wear makeup, matter of fact, because I can't wear it because it breaks me out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, anyway. <laughs> but we sit up and hold it in instead of letting it out. Because the Bible said when praises go up, blessings come down. And it may not be a, a lesson. It may not be a new home. But it be that God is going to bless you to have long life. Amen. That's a blessing. Yes, it is. I want my bills and stuff paid, too. That could just come along with the package. Amen. I was telling my sister today, and this is in the message I'm talking about, God got the best benefit package. Yes, he does. We up here tripping off of Obamacare. We do not because it come March, uh, the, the March, everybody got to have the insurance. I said, oh, Lord, gee. Us people that are entrepreneurs, we got to pay all that money. And the bad part about it is when you overweight, they charge you more. Tell it. That's a right. devil. Right. How you going to charge somebody that's overweight and if you haven't gave them the help to get the weight off? Amen. Tired people. But I'm saying that's just wrong. But see, the thing of it is, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and it adds no sorrow. So God is giving you to drop a strategic plan in the people of God's revelation. And giving them the tools that they need to be able to do what they need to do for the kingdom of God. I said, God, I need some insurance by March. I told him that I said my whole career changed. You got to be ready to do the shit. That's right. A lot of times we get so stuck doing what we used to do. Oh, no, I can't do that. I said, told me I'm supposed to sweep the floor and I'm going to stay right here and sweep the floor. <laughs> but maybe God is giving you the sweep the floor at this time. Wow. And he's getting ready to graduate you from sweeping the floor, the cleaning the bathroom, and getting a pastor's quarter. But you still got to sweep the floor. Because much is given as much as required. So the thing of it is, he said, if I can't trust you with the little bit, or you just want to yo do your thing, you sweeping the floor out of disobedience now. Because God wants you to do Oh, amen. Mm -hmm. She can't be up here doing all this by herself. Amen. God said there's a praise team in here. Somebody amen. can sign yes, in here. Amen. Hey. Amen. <laughs> amen. I'm just gonna speak what God said. Everything that you need for this house to flow is Everybody sitting Lord. down chilling. Amen. He said, it's time for y'all to stop chilling and get up and let's work. All right. Amen. Because Amen. 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 it's so, y'all on 27th Street? Oh, Amen. my God. Amen. Amen. Do I need to go and talk about prospect again? <laughs> Your pastor ain't scared. <laughs> uh, I done seen her in raw action. Amen. I done seen her take authority and got a whole big church. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. You. Amen. 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 So if it's in your leader, it's in you. God is not going to connect you with people that's not like you. All right, say it, amen. I'm going to say that Come again. On. God is not going to connect you with people that are not like you. Amen. Somewhere down the line, y'all going to be divinely, oh, man, you do that too? I do too. What you say? Let me go and get in this book. I'm just trying to hold up. Amen. Everybody look to your neighbor and say, wake up. Wake up. And even to the ones that's not here, I'm preaching to them too. Amen. Wake up. Because it's a, the Bible said, the, Jesus said, the harvest is ripe, but the labor is what? As of April, I will be opening up my open up the ministry that God has given me, equipping the saints ministry. I've been running from that thing. I just want to pass it. Let me stay on the drums, play, teach the prophets, prophesy a little bit, clean up that, open up the door. I'm cool. Jesus said, no, get up. Get out. Work, work. Then if you stay in a place too long, and I'm not saying for nobody to leave, Amen. catch this in the spirit. I caught you. Uh -huh. Come on back in. Amen. 
Cause the thing of it is, right. I was being in a place too long and not obeying God, but obeying man. That's true. That's yeah. right. Come on. It's better to obey God. Amen. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. What we find out in First Samuel, what the 14th, 15th chapter, when it was dealing with uh, 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 Saul, he trying to be obedient. I mean, uh, 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 trying to sacrifice stuff. Man, what? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Uh, I didn't say that. What is it, First Samuel? What did it? Uh, I know it's First Samuel 14 or the 15th chapter. I know it. I got Bible scholars in here. Don't be playing with me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I know it's some word people up in here because your pastor a word preacher. Amen. Hello, hello. <laughs> you know what the thing of it is? You only produce on what you're from. Amen. Apple tree produce what? Apples. A grape vine produce what? Grapes. When somebody came to me and told me they're taking fruit and mixing fruit <laughs> like an apple pear, you call it a prayer. The devil is alive. Uh -oh. He wasn't in garden eating. Uh -oh. ain't eating that mess. Right. <laughs> that's man's mess. Yes. I don't want no part. Because mm -hmm. everything they keep putting their hands on, that's the reason why you're seeing so many epidemics of cancer. Right. Right. Diabetes. Mm -hmm. yes. Why is it so many people dying from cancer and diabetes and, 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 and uh, high blood pressure? Mm -hmm. What's up with that? You even got the Caucasians dying from it. And back in the day, that wasn't known. Everybody ain't eating fried chicken. I don't do that no more. I'm delivered from that. No disrespect. I don't eat chicken this no more, but I do still eat them fried chicken. Every preacher eat fried chicken, amen. I told that. That's what I'm going to be. Every I'm going to look for him. He's going to go out of the arm He's going to be free range. Amen. I'm going to sit right at the table with the Lord, like, Lord have mercy. I know this thing going to be good. <laughs> From the table, I'm gonna get in this mess, y'all. I don't know why I gotta have you going to Think about it. They had fresh chicken in the wilderness. Yeah. He dropped quail down from heaven. What? And they was coming. Well, Lord, he ain't got no water to drink. Told them I was to smack the rock. Water just shot from everywhere. I bet you that was a cool, refreshing drink. <laughs> I'm kind, of, I'm kind of crazy with it, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Then they say, we got, we got plenty of water, but we ain't got no bread to eat. And they just like church folks, right. we just complain about everything. Yeah. It's too hot, it's just too cold. You get a new air, AC unit, then, ooh, it's too cold in here. Well, you were sweating last week, talking about it was too hot. I had one mother in the church that I used to go to. Told the pastor, it's too hot in here. Oh my God, y'all need to turn in the air up. Go to our house, ain't got no singer and not a fan, not nothing. Oh, I can't even do that. Mm. Right. Mm. 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 But I'm telling you, they had quail dropping out of heaven. Mm -hmm. I would have been terrible. Yes. Tell it. I said, oh, what's up for me? You feed me, I'm happier than a fat man <laughs> 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 Let me get back to this message. I said second Peter two and more. Let us, uh, if it's okay, woman of God, I like to read from the NLT version and the Message Bible because it brings a more layman term. I mean, King James is good, but the those and thou sometimes we kind of be like, what that mean? But I want to be able to take so you can take it home and understand. Amen. Oh, Amen. I got that today, right? Amen. Amen. You passed. Oh, 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 o
I'm scared. Nine in my boot, you know what I'm saying? But no, there is a and think about it. He didn't realize he had a knife until the garden. Right. He met with Jesus all them three years. Come to that very moment in the hour that Jesus needed them the most. He said, Well, I might can't cover you spiritually and I keep falling asleep. But I'm gonna slice this ear off. But then later on, he was the one, he said, I already pray for you, uh, Peter. And when you get converted, you're going to win the brother. First message, one over 5,000 souls, and that ain't even including women and children. Come on, somebody. He got convert, converted like a mug. How? Who want to preach like that and see 5,000 or more get converted? That's the type of ministry that I want to do. I ain't trying to do all these little crazy he shot John stuff that we've been doing uh, traditional lives in the church. I'm ready to go down to North, North St. John and say, okay, if he ain't supposed to have been dead, and if he got killed before time and you got purple, Get Rise. Up. Right. Yeah. Get up on that casket and walk. You go fulfill the purpose of the Lord. Right. We have that creative power in us. Yes. 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 We have the creative power in us. The Bible said these signs that follow those that believe, they shall what? Cast out devils. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. Speaking new tongues, we got that one. We were speaking tongues and Jesus come back. But he said, we're going to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I think we're getting that one too because baby girl sitting here. Right. Amen. Amen. But he said, to raise the dead, if you doing a service or some crazy old witch or something coming there trying to do some hoodoo on you and give you some water or something and you drink it and you think you're going to pass out, Holy Spirit's like, mm -hmm. but any deadly thing won't even hurt you. Because right. I got you. When you are in Him, yeah. when you are not in Him, Hallelujah. yeah, you, you wouldn't preach. Yeah. Ooh, Lord, let's get the saints over here and pray for her because uh, she's, uh, oh, she's a hot mess right now. So that's the reason why it's so important for us to make sure that we stay in the Spirit of God, even when we're ministering, or even when we're giving a word of encouragement, even when we're just saying, uh, giving a, 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 a word of wisdom and a word of knowledge, we got to be spirit-led. Yes. Yes. Because we was originally spirit first. Amen. Amen. Your formal place was being in the spirit. You was according to Ephesians. Mm -hmm. The second chapter, the sixth verse, if I'm not mistaken. The Bible says that you were sitting in heavenly places with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when we got in this earth realm, we forgot who we were. Just like a baby. Throw a brand new baby in, in, in the water. See if it'll start swimming. Mm -hmm. But when it went through life course again, mm -hmm. it forgot how to swim. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the thing of it is, you have to go back and get reacquainted. Mm -hmm. Like I was talking about with Alina. With Alina. We had to get real clean. Because there's some different things that's going on in our life. Amen. I see a mile long. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a hot spot right here. Oh, Y'all know about hot spots in the church. Hot be speaking in tongues right here. Yeah. This is a hot spot. Yeah. Sister might be praying right there. You get over there, you just have the word. Now I feel like praying. Lord, I'm going to know that she told Oh, God, just bless me. You got hot spots in the ministry. Like on NBA jams, who used to play that back in the day? I wasn't the only one. <laughs> he's on fire to get in that spot. He's boom. He's on fire. He hit the goal line. You got hot spots in the church. Come on. It says here, the apostles. Wait a minute. I want, to, I want, I want y'all to hear this one. This is real good. 